On Tuesday, September 12, 2023, Apple introduced the iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now included with the iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max is the inclusion of the A17 system on a chip. Now this A17 processor has a lot of implications, not only for future iPhones, but also for the future of the Mac. Because all of the M series chips are actually based on the processor found in the iPhone. And what's most important about the A17 chip is the fact that it's built using TSMC's 3 nanometer process. So that 3 nanometer process is going to carry over to the M3 system on a chip that's going to be found in Mac starting next year. Fellow YouTuber Luke Miani, with whom I have a lot of respect for, recently did a video stating that the A17 system on a chip is hiding a dirty secret. And it looks like Apple spent a lot of time and resources beefing up the GPU side of the chip. Specifically, they went ahead and they implemented ray tracing in hardware. And a good example of ray tracing can be found in the PlayStation 5 game Spider-Man. So when it comes to ray tracing, it allows you to do more realistic reflections and lighting effects. So I think for gaming in the future and for other applications on the iPhone, I really think it's going to be a, bring a lot to the table in terms of how accurate and how realistic future games can be. When it comes to the performance of the CPU cores in the A17 Pro chip, this is where Luke and I start to disagree. In his video, he said he was disappointed that the A17 performance cores are only 10% faster than the performance cores found on last year's A16 Bionic chip. However, just by looking at this 10% number, I don't think it's telling the full story because Apple also changed some of the architecture in this A17 chip. So what they were able to do is that they were able to place more decoders and more execution units into the chip. And on top of that, Apple improved the branch prediction inside of the A17. Now, the reason why this is important is because it has direct implications of what we can expect to see in next year's M3 3 nanometer chip that's going to be inside of the Mac. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to go in depth talking about branch prediction as well as decode and execution units in the pipeline and how that impacts performance both now and in the future with Apple's M3 processor. In this code fragment, written in C++, I display a menu to the user. The user selects an option and the program confirms what choice they made. The program then branches out based on which option the user made through a series of if statements. The implementation details of creating a branch predictor are beyond the scope of this video, but in simple speculative prediction, the branch protector will execute an instruction before the user makes an option. Apple is using more finely tuned logic built into the M3 silicon to improve the accuracy of its branch predictor while minimizing the performance penalty of a branch misprediction. Another architectural improvement can be found in the processor's front end. In their slide, Apple states there are more decoders and execution units built into the M3. Decoders, as the name implies, takes instructions and converts them into code the CPU core can natively process. The results of this decoding are then dispatched to the appropriate execution units. For example, decoded instructions are dispatched to branch predictors and other execution units built into the chip. With more decoders, the CPU cores will have a constant flow of instructions to make the most out of every clock cycle. As they say, the devil really is in the details. And by using one specific number to characterize the performance of a new system on a chip built on a 3 nanometer process, is not giving you the full story. Apple also made changes to the media engine, they improved the speed of the neural engine, and they also beefed up the GPU cores by giving us features like hardware-based ray tracing. When you put all of these components together, including the tweaks made to the CPU cores, I believe we're gonna see a noticeable increase in performance, and I think over time this chip will also be more energy efficient because it is based on a 3 nanometer process. So personally, I'm going to have to disagree with Luke and say that the performance of this M3 processor 
is going to be noticeable compared to previous iterations of Apple Silicon. And personally, I can't wait until the new chips come out, coming out next week. All right, that's about it. Peace.